Hi, I'm Hillary. Several people have asked me how to start homeschooling, so I thought I'd make a video and give you the tips that I share with them. The first thing I would say to anyone considering homeschooling is to pray. God created you and God created your kids. He knows what the future holds for your family. So seek him and he'll give you peace about what to do for your child's education. He has always been faithful to point me in the right direction. Next, talk to your spouse. See if they're open to homeschooling. As with any life decision, you guys want to be on the same page. And it is a huge asset to have their support. Next, check for your state laws. A good place to do that is to check with HSLDA. That stands for Homeschool Legal Defense Association. They're an organization that helps homeschoolers who are in the legal battle. Besides legal help, they also are a great resource to find how to make a high school transcript, how to help your struggling learner, how to just do this whole homeschool thing. I highly suggest you check them out at hslda.org. It's also a great idea to become a member of them. You don't want to be in the middle of a legal battle trying to figure out which one of your local lawyers knows or even cares about homeschooling laws. HSLDA lawyers have been through this before and they will know the path to take. Another tip that I give my friends is to come up with family goals and a vision. What is it that you and your what is it that you want you and your children to get out of the homeschool experience? What's important to your family? When you answer these questions, it will help prioritize things for you. You'll be able to know what to say yes to and what to say no to. And you'll want to come back and revisit your goals. As your children grow, your goals will change. Also write down your why, especially right now as you're beginning to homeschool, write down why you're doing this. Because on those hard days, sometimes you'll ask yourself, why am I doing this? And then you pull out your paper and you'll go, oh yes, that's why I'm doing this. It's really good to have that. The next thing is curriculum. That can be a daunting task for even the seasoned homeschooler. There are a sea of choices out there. If you've done family goals, like I suggested, that will help you to narrow down which curriculum would be best for you and your family. Also, if you go to homeschool conferences, oftentimes they'll have vendors there that have the homeschooling books there that you can get hands on and actually look at the books to see if that'll work for you. You can also go online to the companies that publish the, the curriculum and they oftentimes will give you a few pages to be able to sneak peek into to see if that's going to work for you. Another great resource is YouTube. There's so many great reviews on different subjects and different curriculums. Check those out and see what works for you. Also, one thing I highly suggest is that you get plugged in to a homeschool community. You can do that several different ways. There's homeschool Facebook pages, there's co-ops, homeschool sports, there's life groups and small groups. There's so many different ways to get plugged in. But it's for you, the teacher, and for the kids. Not just for the kids, but you as the teacher are going to need some help too to know what to do along the journey. And it's just nice to have that support. So I highly suggest that you find a homeschool group and get plugged in. Even if you're not a people person, find at least one or two other homeschool families that you can talk to on a regular basis to help you through this journey, because we are not made to do this alone. I hope that these tips and ideas have been helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.